Am I alright? <laughs> It's Bianca and welcome to my part two of casting spells I learned on witch talk. So I did a video back in August where I found a protection spell, a spoken word protection spell where I casted a spell around myself and I learned it from witch talk. And if you don't know what witch talk is, it's TikTok, but it belongs to the witches and the wizards and the, and the mystical gals and boys who share their intuition and empathy and just share love for witchcraft. So one day I came across this video that I would love to follow and I just kind of needed all the ingredients and all the energy and today I feel so good and so lovely so calm it's a beautiful nice October fall day in New York City so without any further ado let's get into it and watch this video <laughs> This video is so cute. I don't have some of the things, but I am going to just kind of use my brain and see what I enjoy and what I feel like belongs in this jar to protect me anyway. And <laughs> I'm just very excited. I actually went ahead about an hour ago and lit my black flame candle. Um, also mainly because I'm filming another video where I am living as cottagecore aesthetic for 24 hours and that is <laughs> currently right now. Now I do think before I even start putting all of my things in the jar, I want to kind of sit here and not so much journal, but I want to do the protection spell that I did in this part one of this video that I did. It would be a good thing to do before I start putting all these uh, lovely intentions into a jar. So now I haven't done this circle of protection since the last time I filmed this video and somebody did ask me in the comments for an update on this, so I will include that right now. I feel great. I feel like I've been very focused and dead set on what I need to do and what I what needs to be done. I feel like no harm so much really has come my way. I mean, it could just be the time of year. It could whatever. It's It could all be coincidental. No one ever knows. But I think if you feel like a protection spell works, then it's working. <laughs> if you feel like it didn't, you're just continuously telling yourself that. And that's not really how it should go. You know, your thoughts become things. Sometimes you just have to pretend something's perfectly perfect and then it will be. I am casting a circle of protection around myself that deflects all negative energy and only allows in that which is positive. 
All right, here we go, following witch talk yet again. Now, first things first, light a white or black candle for protection. I have one going over there. <laughs> I'm really excited, oh my God, okay. Now, in my jar currently, I actually have eggshells. Um, so I may, I'm just gonna dump them out on my book. Let me go ahead and do the same with my stuff that I'm using, which is right behind this camera. I'm using a jasmine incense, by the way. And I will link everything below that I'm using if you guys are interested in kind of all of this stuff. Next and first to be put into the jar, she uses a bay leaf, but I don't have bay leaves and that's okay. I'm going to kind of replace that with something else. And also rosemary, I do not have rosemary, but I do have lavender for me. In replace of the bay leaf, I will be using some lavender, I believe, fennel seed. That's what I'll be using. And lavender is good for anxiety, it's good for all of that, like those to calm your anxiousness. So to be honest, I am trying to mimic this spell kind of the same, but also not really because I do feel like everybody is so different and everybody needs different things. That's just in life. And we're gonna do fennel. For fennel, I mostly feel like it gives me the feeling of winter time anyway, and we're like almost getting into the, well, we are in the fall now, but we've searched the world to bring you the highest quality, 100% organic fennel. It's sweet, pleasant, licorice-like flavor is well suited for marinades and blah, 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 blah. Obviously, it's still a spice. You eat it. For me, I liked the description of pleasant licorice like um it reminds me of like the black candle and it reminds me of just like warding off darkness <laughs> and i feel like that's the thing with protection spells and protection jars is that it's really anything you make it and i know sometimes witch talk could seem so overwhelming and especially for me even i've been casting spells since i'm literally nine years old in my backyard looking up random things burying peas to get rid of warts like random silly things and like witch talk oftentimes it seems like you need so much you need all these crystals you need all these things but like you really just need your brain your imagination and your sense of wanting to feel better it is what it is what's next that she puts in the jar let's see After the rosemary, which I replaced with the lavender, um, she puts eggshell powder. So let's put these eggshells back in my jaw. I might go ahead, I think I might go ahead and put all of the eggshells back in the jar. Yeah, I just feel like they started off there. They may as well. <laughs> oh my god, I just blew powder. They may as well end there. So let's go ahead. Can you see? Yes. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Oh my god, beautiful. This is so relaxing. This is like amazing. After the eggshells, she puts in black salt. You can use Himalayan salt as well. So I have my pink in the jar. <sighs> so pretty and so pink. Mmm, getting salt everywhere. Tasty. She put black garlic, but she also said regular garlic works fine. Um, I thought about putting a clove of garlic in, but I feel like it may go like moldy, possibly after some time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in garlic powder. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, it looks like a clove of garlic. It got um, I love that. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, look how she's looking so far. So beauty. I know some people grind up all their spices to mix together, but I may just like end up shaking it at the end because I I kind of like the separation between all of them. I feel like it, it they, they do their part in what they're supposed to do. Cinnamon is next. I love cinnamon. I drank cinnamon rose tea this morning. Delicious. Yeah, okay. I have cinnamon brooms all over my house and it like, I, I can't explain the feeling of <laughs> fall. It's just too good. I don't have sage. I've never cooked with sage. I never, I don't, I don't like the smell of sage in general. I know I'm not going to smell the jar. I'm not going to be smelling the jar, but I, I don't want to put sage in my jar regardless. So I have tea. I love tea. 
And this tea is a loose tea. It is called Buddha's Blend. It's a calming floral bliss. And for me, protection means to be calm, to be serene, to feel good. Um, and I love the fact that it says calming bliss on this. Um, in it, it also has jasmine, which is what I use to refresh the jar with my incense. That is jasmine incense. So I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand and it's white tea, green tea, jasmine, pearls, artificial peach flavoring, and white hibiscus blossoms. So these are what they look like. Just little teas. So for me, I think it's more important to put this tea in than the sage. I know people drink sage tea anyway, and this honestly looks like sage regardless. I just, I would prefer this in it rather than sage. I'm just noticing my desk and there's just like powders everywhere. So my jasmine tea is all in and all so cute and lovely. Now it smells amazing. Mmm, delicious. So in the video, as you guys saw, the last step she really does is put in crystals and I don't want to put things in the jar for the sake of putting things in the jar, you know what I mean? But what is my vibe is tea and florals and flowers and things that will possibly help me bloom, right? It's all about your intentions. And lo and behold, you would never guess what I found in my pantry. Oops. Rosebuds. How beautiful. Rose tea buds. Oh my gosh. It makes me so happy. I could literally, literally, I feel like crying. I like almost just about to cry. Am I all right? <laughs> Maybe it's working already because I feel so overwhelmingly happy. I am, listen, you're probably like, is this girl okay? What is she smoking? I don't smoke, I don't drink. I just, energy of the world makes me feel alive. And it's the fall, it's October, it's Vlogoween. Finding these whole rose tea buds in my pantry right now. It was like unbelievable. It's just like this overwhelming unbelievable feeling and it's so silly. You're uh, you're all probably making fun of me right now. All right, so the last step in the video is to seal the jar with a sigil and the wax that you were burning. Don't know how to make a sigil. I know it's probably not as complicated as people make it seem, but I, I think it's a little complicated. So instead of that, and learning how to do that. Maybe I could do that in a separate video eventually. I'm just gonna like write a little note of protection, fold it up and do it that way. And I'm writing on a piece of notepad paper that my grandma gave me. May this jar protect me from evil. May the world seem lovely and full of wonder. Let the anxieties fade away and the love, light, and adventure take its course. Once more before I close the jar, I'm gonna just do this. Close her up. Place her on top. And then we're gonna seal right over her But. First and foremost, we're putting down paper because I built this desk and wax is a bitch to come along. It's all in good faith. <laughs> um, I love it. That was lovely. This was a really fun video. I'm really glad that I filmed it. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> I'm really glad that I filmed it. I'm really, really happy that it turned out this way. I wanted to film this a few weeks ago, but I just felt very overwhelmed and I was very... <sighs> 
I didn't feel like I would successfully get this done beautifully and in a calm, lovely fashion, and I just feel great. This was so amazing. The person whose video I followed, um, she did a great job at kind of making it simplified for me to just follow along, bend the rules, make my own little adjustments as I needed to. And if you missed the part one to this where I did do the protection spell, like the spoken protection spell, um, I will link it up here somewhere. So again, if you stumbled upon here from a different anything, a different realm, whatever, I'm participating in Vlogoween, which is where I daily upload all 31 days of October. It is a lot of witch related content and I just hope that you guys are into it. So if you want to stick around and subscribe, that would be awesome. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, Instagram, that would be cool too. And without any further ado, I will see you guys tomorrow for my next Vlogoween video. Bye!